a new book came out by a, a Hispanic writer, Jose Maria Zavala, and it's called The Best Kept Secret of Fatima. He recounts his 2011 interview of Chief Vatican Exorcist, Father Gabriele Amort, which he promised to keep secret until after the exorcist's death. Father Amort, who died in 2016, personally knew Padre Pio for 26 years. When Mr. Zavala asked him if Padre Pio had ever connected the third secret of Fatima to the loss of faith within the church, Father Amort, looking very disturbed, answered, Indeed. One day Padre Pio said to me very sorrowfully, You know, Gabriele, Satan has been introduced into the bosom of the church and within a very short time will come to rule a false church. When did he prophesy this to you? Father Amort answered, It must have been around 1960. Was that why John the Twenty Third had such a panic about publishing the Third Secret? A slight but knowing smile curled the lips of Father Amort. Did Padre Pio say anything else to you about future catastrophes, earthquakes, floods, wars, epidemics, hunger? Did he allude to the same plagues prophesied in Holy Scripture? asked Mr. Zavala. Nothing of the sort mattered to him however terrifying they proved to be, except for the great apostasy within the church. This was the issue that really tormented him and for which he prayed and offered a great part of his suffering, crucified out of love, said Father Amort. The third secret of Fatima, Zavala asked? Exactly, said Padre Pio, I uh, said Father Amort. If Satan had entered into the bosom of the church by 1960, no wonder Pope Paul VI in his papal address in 1972 lamented that the smoke of Satan had invaded the church. No wonder Pope John Paul II answering a question posed during his visit to Fulda, Germany in 1980 responded, no, the church cannot be reformed at this present moment. He then held up a rosary as the only way to mitigate the coming chastisements. People must pray the rosary every day, Sister Lucy wrote. Our Lady requested this in all her apparitions, as if to warn us in advance against these times of diabolical disorientation so that we would not be let ourselves be fooled by false doctrines. 